You know when you go out of the way to get one thing and they don't have it? That was me today. I went all the way to Chlorin at Dufferin Mall, which is far from where I live, just to get the new Shea Moisture hair oils I've been hearing so much about. I wanted to try a new scalp oil. I'm almost done my way hair oil, which helped my hair grow so much. I need to make a TikTok about that. Note to self. Hey Siri, set a reminder for 5 p.m. today to record a hair oil video. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm gonna put these groceries away. I just wanted to check in today, see what the rest of September, and maybe even start of October, not sure how long this vlog is gonna be. But you know me, I had to make use of going all the way there for nothing, so I decided to go to Walmart since there's none in this area, and I stocked up on a lot. But I'm just gonna put these away, and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow another day. I have a feeling this vlog is gonna be super random. You know when you just, you're in those moods, We'll see what we get into, but I hope you enjoyed this one and thanks as always for tuning in. So I'll see you when I see you. Well, we're back somewhere I've been plenty of time, Shops on Don Mills, because I want to check out Anthropology. I haven't been there in months. They've closed quite a few stores in the last couple of years. The pan has done a number on the economy. Who's wearing this? Mm, it smells so good. Is this? I love these little fragrances. I didn't find what I was looking for in Anthros. So let's see if Home Sense has got it. It's quieter than I thought it'd be. But I guess it's early evening and since the sun sets quicker every single day. I've always wanted one of these in my apartment. So pretty. They have really nice pieces here actually. Look at that. Oh! Oh! Are you serious? I wonder how much this is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's the price tag? Can you guys tell me how much it costs? Because I can't. Does that say 119? This is so pretty. What is this? There. I like this gold. See? Too slim. Not really giving. It has been a minute since I've taken the tripod and my little old self to take pictures for the brand. So this is the outfit. Everything's from Savo except for shoes. They're from Zara. Okay, hopefully no one walks by because it's super embarrassing to take photos of yourself in the wild. Okay, not the wild, in the city. Wow, it's so beautiful up here. I'm just guessing, but seeing as there's no one up here, I don't think it's open. Maybe not yet, or maybe not for the season. The door was open though. Wow, it's beautiful up here. Absolutely no one up here. It took me an hour and a half to get here from home. I really wanted to sit out before the summer ended. Pastor here. My name is Jenny Walker. It is so great to be here. 
Welcome to Reflect. Welcome to tonight. It's going to be, this going to be some fun. There's going to be some laughter. Uh, this is going to be an opportunity to worship together. Communion is something that we do um, as a body of believers. And it's something that Jesus himself initiated uh, before he went to the cross. Jesus, we're looking towards you right now, God. Why are you so good to me? Beginning in verse 22. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites this. You have seen for yourselves that I have spoken to you from heaven. Do not make any gods to be alongside me. Do not make for yourself gods of silver or gods of gold. Make an altar of earth for me. And sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, your sheep and goats and your cattle. And wherever I cause my name to be honored, I will come to you and bless you. Slow the moment, offer a sacrifice, give it a name. You gotta do it right where you are. And so that means you have to use whatever is around. And I just say, God, I'm giving this dream back to you. I'm laying it down on the altar. If you wanna give it back, I will let you. And God, I know you love them more than you love, well, not more than you love me, but that was what I had to say. God, I know you love them more than I love them. He loves us all the same. And put your anger on the altar. Can I just say for a minute that we have become a generation of not only busy women, but angry women. You need to let go of whatever or whoever you're angry at. This is so important. Write this down. Anger blocks your progress. Holly gets better and better every time. I really enjoyed that message. There's so many takeaways that I'll have to reflect on. <laughs> you knew I was gonna do that, right? But we're just here. Sure, I went to go use the washroom really quick and she brought back some treats. This is the most interesting popcorn I've ever had before. Well, this one I think is some kind of candy flavored, but this one, when you bite into it, there's actually like a cake filling inside. I don't know, it works. You can probably hear the planes. I don't know how far away from the airport we are, but we're pretty close because I can see the planes and they're so close to the ground. I'm having real travel fever right now. There's so many places I wanna go. Where should I travel to next? Anywhere but here, because the cold is coming right away. But anyway, we're just gonna catch up a little bit and then my godmother will drop me off at the station and I will head home and see you guys. What are we doing tomorrow? That part. Aloha, happy Sunday. I've decided I'm gonna make this weekly vlog two weeks in one because there's not that much that I've done as we continue this life of new experiences. I'm actually gonna go to my mom's today to visit her right after I clean this mat because the yoga session I did today, nearly an hour, was intense to say the least. And then I got sidetracked trying to do some edits for the vlog that I just posted yesterday. Hope you like it. It's the one with Usher. Ah, I still can't leave you up to me. When this dries, I'm going to put it away. I have to take out my strap today. That's how crazy today's class was. I'm telling you, the Allo Moves app is worth every penny. Every single penny because there's everything you need on there. I tried to do Pilates a couple weeks ago. No. But anyways, I'm going to shower real quick. Put on a cute... I hate that word. An outfit, and then we're gonna head to my mom's. It's such a nice day. I wish this weather would stay, but this is like the last little gift Mother Nature is giving us. Can you even see me? Because the angle. I haven't done this angle in a minute. It's so weird. I used to always show you my yoga flow, and then I just stop. The part where I come to the crosswalk, and I don't know if I can cross it or not, so I have to look up here. 
only to realize that in the time it took for me to look up there, I could have crossed. So now I have to wait for the next cycle. I don't have enough patience for this life. Thanks, Auntie. Did they cook for you in no time? No. <laughs> you don't know anything about email. No, I don't. You have to tell me the story. You have to put something on top of it so the oil doesn't catch you. Oh, that. Nothing like coconut water. It's so refreshing. I can't believe how hot it is and it's after five. Happy Friday, loves. I feel like a little ray of sunshine because this past week has been so sunny. I was in the elevator. And the people in this building are super friendly and cheery. So I ordered this in June. June! This is why you shouldn't order from AliExpress. I like to give people, so I ordered some more. I didn't realize it would take literally three months to ship. And then David's Tea. I missed their sale during Labor Day. And I'm running low on matcha, so I decided to stock up. Ooh, I can smell one of them. So the one I want to try this morning is called Toasted Marshmallow. I have a thing for, this is, what is this? The next time I go to Beanwise, I need to pick up marshmallow syrup. That's watermelon. <laughs> one of them is leaking, because usually you can't smell them through the package. It is Toasted Marshmallow, so that's the one I'll have. You know, one thing I hate about being blind is every single time you want to do something, you have to use your phone to zoom in. Cream of Earl Grey. This one is a classic. I'm happy they brought it back. Now, if they could bring back the honeydew matcha, whew, that was the best one of all time. It's horchata chai. I've never had horchata before, but you know, I'm growing to like chai. Ooh, this one's cherry blossom matcha. Another really, really good one is blue. Salted caramel wulong. Because you don't say the O's, you call it wu. Wu wu. Anywho, it's been a while since I took you on a coffee date. I'm super excited since it's supposed to be a high of 26. I wish Toronto was always like this. It has been, I don't even know, two years since we used to do this regularly. And I want to get back into the swing of going to different parts of the city, feeling the vibe for the neighborhood and also giving their chai or their matcha or their coffee a try. It's so weird to me that the only thing I used to be comfortable doing solo dolo was going to coffee shops. And now I've been to rooftops by myself, I've been to restaurants by myself, and I've also gone to a whole concert by myself. So we're continuing this journey of self-discovery, and I hope you enjoy going on this with me, but let me just edit some content super quickly and then we'll get out and go. ahead of schedule and I made a match and as I was sipping it I was like what time is it and I realized okay I gotta go so I put on my shoes headed to the subway I knew that it was out of service between my house and close to where I needed to be but I allocated for the shuttle bus but it was going so slowly so I let my friend know I was gonna be 10 minutes late and he let me know that he had a meeting at 1 30 so he had a hard stop so I was like you know what I'll take a lift I don't usually do ubers and lifts but this called for it 
And I originally went down to the subway because I was going to take the lift closer to where we're going to be. But then I realized the train's not coming. I'm already cutting it close to when we're supposed to meet and he's already there. He put his name on the wait list and they said a two hour wait. I mean, it's a Michelin star restaurant, but that's kind of crazy. We didn't even get to go. The restaurant we went to was a couple doors down. Great service and the food was good. So it worked out. Tell me why I'm waiting at the intersection for the lift and it takes 25 minutes when originally it said six. So I'm already not feeling good about this because I bet you if I waited for the train, it would have came in that 25 minutes. But whatever, we're here now, a car is gonna be faster either way. I keep telling the guy, I cannot see well, but I'm standing right in front of the location that I put in GPS. This is also what I see around me. Do you see me? I'm wearing all white, which by the way, wearing this in mid-September is giving spring attire. So it should have been an amazing day with the weather being so good. Keep telling him, I cannot see you. I'm visually impaired. Look out for me. I'm exactly where I put in the app, wearing white. Oh no, I'm turning on this side. I'm like, no, you're not. According to the app, you're on Young Street when you're supposed to be on St. Clair. And I could tell based on what he was telling me, he wasn't on the street that I was. And I kept letting him know, I'm visually impaired. You're not where you are. And then he finally got to where I was. And I told him, you can't be on that side because the police are there telling the shuttle buses to turn a certain way. And I can actually hear the police yelling at him because he's not supposed to be where he is. And I keep telling him, I'm not there. I'm where this landmark is, exactly where I put in the GPS. It's not hard to see. And as I'm telling him this, someone random shoves me into the street. And I just look around, I'm like, what the hell? And I'm, I'm just stunned because I can't believe I just got physically assaulted while trying to tell a Lyft driver that I'm visually impaired and you should have found me more than 15 minutes ago. So I'm just looking around and this person's far off in the distance, but what am I supposed to do? Hit them with my bag? Like I'm just in shock that this is all happening. And I just keep thinking like, if I wasn't blind, I would be driving my own car to get to where I need to go. Or maybe I wouldn't even live in this city anymore. Like, <sighs> this cannot be it. Like living legally blind is so limiting. The Lyft driver says, oh, I'm gonna call you right back. And I'm like, hold up. If you're across the street, you're gonna either have to find a way to loop around to find me doesn't listen, hangs up, and then I look at the app, he canceled it on me. So after waiting for 30 minutes for him to not come and get me, the app automatically ordered someone else. So I call my friend and I'm like, you know what, I don't even feel like going out anymore. He's like, I don't know what to say. And then I look at my app and it already ordered another lift, but they were actually coming from where I live and I was confused because I just... <sighs> so now I have this driver saying, do you want me to pick you up or not? And my friend is like, I don't know what you want me to do. I've been here, I've been waiting here for 40 minutes. So they come and I try to tell them, I cannot see well. So when you come, I'm wearing all white and I'm exactly at the point. And he says, can you see me? And I'm like, no, I cannot see that far. I cannot see well. Like, I'm trying to tell him in every which way that I'm visually impaired and I can't see far. So I'm asking where he is and I'm trying to figure out based off what I can hear from his speaker based on where I am and I'm just like. So I ended up going up to a police officer and I said, can you help me find this license plate? And then another police officer is yelling at the car which turned out to be my lift to move out the way. So I tell that police officer, can you tell that police officer that I'm visually impaired and I'm trying to find my lift? So he starts yelling at the other police officer who's trying to shove away my lift driver and my Lyft driver pulls off and the guy's like, no, 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 like she's supposed to, and he's like, you're not supposed to do this. And then this other police officer is like, do I have to tell you how to do your job to the guy that's trying to help me out? And he's like, you're not listening. She's visually impaired and she cannot see the car. And the whole time I'm just like, why? I'm so tired. I'm so tired of being blind. So luckily that police officer, like officer stuck with me and walked me all the way to the lift who had driven off into the distance at this point. And there was still another police officer yelling at that lift driver to keep pulling off while he's telling him, no, don't tell him to go because she's supposed to be in that car. <sighs> yeah. If I wasn't blind, who knows? Life would be different and it may not necessarily be easier, but it definitely wouldn't be like this. But luckily, I guess the silver lining is David is so gracious. He wasn't pissed at all when I saw him, but I only got to see him for 45 minutes because he had to go. And it took me so long to get down there and even longer to get home. So I'm gonna edit some stuff. 
for YouTube, for Instagram, for TikTok. Maybe depending on how busy the salons are, because it is a Saturday, I'll go and get a pedicure. And that is it for the day. Are you gonna burn yourself? I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, okay, we're doing the other one. Oh Lord. So you might see us in a vlog very soon. Well, when is Vibes coming here anyway? No, it's just, ah, this is annoying. In any country! Last little bit of summer we've got, and Kevin is gonna chef it up. Oh, I forgot my air, my hand sanitizer. Fire! What do you mean? Chicken burger, yeah. They're all made with love. Mine has to be the best though. Why do you love Vibes so much? I'm confused. It's a national hero. Oh, that's a good How is it? Hot. I'm a woman. No, what a way to end a summer. This burger is so good. Kevin understood the assignment. Everything he made today was delicious. Was this worth $7 though? I don't know. 